All right, welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and also on YouTube for our next deck, which is going to be Jund Midrange. Uh, we've been talking about this here in Twitch chat for a little bit, how there's just so many good cards that you can play in the Jund colors. You know, a lot of people are asking, why not, you know, this card? Like, why not a uh, Gruel Spellbreaker? Or how about Ravager Worm? Or um, Doom Whisper? Or, you know, like, there's just dozens of cards that we could be putting in this deck. But at the end of the day, we can only fit 60 in. And uh, these are 60 that I'm pretty happy with here. Um, so... You know, I want to try this out. Like, the, the Angrath is probably the card that is, like, the most suspect. There's so many good 5 and 6 drops that the Angrath should probably be something else. Like, it should probably be Big Frasca. Um, I, sh I should probably just change the Angrath to Big Frasca. All right, let's just do that. Um, All right, everybody in chat saying play Angrath. Angrath is fun. All right, we're back to Angrath. That's the thing. There's just so many cards you could be playing. Um, all right, we're going. We're going Angrath. Yeah, Big Frask is awesome. There's just there's just a million cards we could be playing in these deck in this deck. It's the thing about Jund. It has it has actual everything. Um, I got some Rhythm of the Wilds in the sideboard for control. Same with Theater Horrors. Ritual is set for basically mono white. Um, another Midnight Reaper for uh, control. Yeah, there's just not space for basically everything. Um, yeah. All right. Uh, let's see. Let me update the decklist command here and let's get back to playing some magic it's been a little bit i'll update the deckless command here in just a second the deck's already on stream decker but jund midrange there we go I need a f the all right. Naya Value is up to go is ready to go up on YouTube. I should finish that up. Hmm. Uh, I mean we have I have seventeen green sources. We do need to draw a green source, but if we draw a green source, we're looking really good. We have 17 in the deck. We could also just mulligan. Oh, it's certainly a greedy keep. AC's plays, welcome to the stream. That's getting some hype boats in the chat. Sub number nine on the day. Huh. Found the green sources. I think you should take a vote of what colors a 125 card deck should be. And play it on Friday. At least we can cast spells. I like casting spells. I nah, don't want that land. That's a good spell to cast. for Naya Value. Vladimus, thank you so much for the bits there. I do appreciate that, Vladimus. Thank you. Alright, and Naya Value is up on YouTube now. Alright, time to start uploading Azorius Mill.
I guess my plan was just to attack you. So I just did that right away because my plan was to attack. But honestly, it's probably better to not attack. So I was a little hasty there on that activation. That can happen too. Um, all right, sorry, back to chat now. Um, sorry there, I was uh, getting the, the YouTube videos ready to go, but see a lot of people are, yeah, maybe they're a little surprised I kept that hand. Um, but no, I mean, it has, has lands. Lands are good. Uh, how do you feel Jeskai controls position in best of three in the new standard? I haven't seen it very much. Um, but it, and I don't really play it myself, but I would think it'd be just fine. Uh, but anyway, uh, Handsome Baby said, Okay, first time in the stream, I must say I like what I see. First streamer in, of MTG I see who wears a dress shirt and tie for me. It shows respect to the audience and he takes streaming seriously. Not some joke. Dress for success. Thank you, Todd. Your show for show your audience respect and I will wear a tie next time to return respect. Oh, well, thank you so much, handsome. Thanks for the kind words and I'm glad you're enjoying this, the stream. Let's see. Do I want to just cast Vivian? Now, let's just get another two drop into play. Oh, whoops. I meant just to time that out for... I didn't mean to time you out for ten minutes. Sorry, Bobo. I meant just to delete those. There we go. Down to ten. Mana base has been pretty shocking here. But our, our opponent only has three cards in hand, so not a lot. Yeah, we understand, Bobo. I'm certainly going to double block. Uh, I will trade a growth chamber guardian for a sanctum seeker they attack yeah like I'm certainly double walking if they kill the 2-2 two -two, then I I can't go get a new one I could see it actually being like better to kill the 2-2 two -two, cause like yeah, I can spend the mana to kill the 4-4 four four anyway. Oh, wow. That was their last card in hand was a one mana removal spell. That's That was great. Yeah, great turn. Um, hmm. I guess I'm just dead. They have block pride mate. I'm taking eight. I'm I'm just gonna be dead to the Sanctum Seeker. Okay, let's get the other coil in. The rituals of Sutsin. Take out Midnight Reaper. Hmm. Trim a Vivian. Certainly see them having enchantments, though. But let's go with this. Wait, 
when he attacked with Pride Mate on turn three. Didn't he kill my 4 4 on turn three? I don't really remember that turn, honestly. Um, I think we're mulliganing again. All right, we can keep this. Uh, Big Vraska is almost assuredly better than Angrath. But we were playing Angrath. I do like land. Don't want to just get stuck on three land. Mill wasn't too bad. Um, for person that asked, was Mill bad early, earlier? Mill wasn't too bad. I didn't have enough lands in the deck. Our biggest trouble during the games was not having lands. Looking just fine here. I don't think final payment is a good card. I am I am not surprised they don't run that over instead of murder. I think murder is a, a much better card than final payment. Sacrificing your own creatures is not something you want to do. Very much. I haven't seen anything in their deck that would make me think that they would want to sacrifice their own creatures. Have you played Orzhov Knight since the set new set released? I have not. Um, I don't... Like, I don't think there was many knights printed. I haven't looked it up yet, though. But no, that's that's a deck I haven't... Uh, haven't gone back to yet. I don't know if 5 life is ever easy to pay. If you just get rid of all the life... If you think that just getting rid of all the life that you have from, like, your life gain stuff... Like, if you think that the life that you're gaining is meaningless, then... It really... Then it's like, what's the point of playing the deck kind of thing? I think it's better just to play Murder or Frass's Contempt. Even Chupacabra. Like those things don't cost... Like, I think the extra mana is a lot better than the 5 life. <laughs> yeah, we built a Gates deck and played it a few days ago. It was... It was... Uh, surprisingly good, and it was a lot of fun to play. Only two unplayable knights in the new set. That's not good. Hmm. So I can finality right now. I don't think I need to, though. I think we can wait. See if they could put some more vampires out here. 
Before we finality. We may draw another explore creatures so we can have both wild growth walkers above finality range and not just one. Because if I cast finality right now, I'm trading finality plus a branch walker plus a wild growth walker for their three creatures. So I'm trading three for three. With them having a lot more cards in hand, that's not really a trade that I want to do immediately. Johnny's Prime May is certainly, certainly a problem. That doesn't die to finality. Huh. I think about twenty six. You have a new favorite card, Wilderness Reclamation. I should just chump block both of them, honestly, because I'm just going to be casting the finality here. I should just chump block them both. I don't need to, like, try to trade. I should just chump, chump block. I could be at 26 still. Hopefully that four life doesn't kill us. Ugh. I uh, yeah, I think it's on. On hinge. How's this thing do? Plus two, plus zero vigilance, and is a knight. And make a Two two night attacking. Hmm. Yeah, I guess we're going to have to just attack then, so it... We're still... We're in a rough spot. But I guess we just have to hope we draw a removal spell for Shalai. I... You know, it's considering, you know, like, playing the, the Girl Chamber Guardian and everything, and I just don't... I don't think it's better. So I think we're going to have to just attack Soot. Shalai. That's all we need. We got the other things taken care of. Opponents are on lots of lands too, so even though like we have uh, a bunch of lands here, it's not like our opponent's not either. We have one more turn to find an answer for the Shalai. So we need one of our, you know, we just need like any of our Lava Coils, Vivians, Bedevils, Rekindling Phoenix. 
Um, you know, it's basically about a third of our deck. You need to draw one of those things. Even just a finality would also do it. Another land will not, though. All right, 0 and 1 with Jund. Got aggroed. Happens. All right, let's see if we can prove upon this a bit. Our hands haven't been too impressive. It doesn't seem like adding the third caller is worth it too much. That's a fine card. Cali Commuter, thanks for resubbing for the third month in a row. Thank you so much. <laughs> Zach... We went. We had five wins with Mardu Angels last time we played it. We've, I've only played it one time. We got five wins. All right, that gets us to our second sub goal of the day. How many lands do you typically run? Uh, usually, like twenty-five is like a is like the number that play right around that. Okay, so our deck needs two black to be able to bedevil or chupacabra. Yep, it was, I think, like three days ago, probably. Yeah, this is Biffy, Biffy Clyro. They don't play a ton of creatures, but each one of their creatures is uh, very valuable. So, I'm going to go ahead and trade while I can there. I haven't played a, a wall deck yet. No. So yeah, that's that's what I was just saying, why I double blocked instead of Chubacabraing, because um, again, they don't play a ton of creatures, but all their creatures are very valuable, so I like trading while I could, I'll still have, like, they're going to have some more creatures, I, I want answers to those also. Um, all they need to do is just play another gate, and then the uh, my two creatures couldn't trade for theirs anymore. I'm kind of walking into a gates ablaze. I suppose. I guess I just don't need to play this other growth chamber guardian. It doesn't really speed up the clock. I have nine power on the battlefield right now. So you see, so I still had like removal for the next, um, for the next couple of the, the creatures. So I like keeping the, you know, but the removal is real valuable. Ooh, that'd be nice. Yeah, getting fixed with Gutter Bones and Menagerie. What 
What's this deck about? Um, it's basically like another way to play... Um, it's like, it's kind of like an updated Golgari for the most part. Alright, so we, we're having uh, two two lethal creatures here. Uh, that the Jade Light and the Growth Chamber Guardian can both be four power. We know that they're just drawing that eight drop. Okay, so that gained him some life. I don't think I attack in yet. Oh, that's unfortunate. Alright, no gates ablaze. Zinedine, welcome back for the second month in a row. Thank you so much for that resub there. That is sub number 11 on the day. Well, I can't get through. So there's no other growth chamber guardians to go find. Yeah, the gate stack is strong. Yeah, prime subs record how many months in a row. Yep. Yeah, like it, it shows up uh, with prime subs. Like that's Zinedane is resubbing for the second month in a row there with Twitch Prime. So yeah, it shows up with that. Yeah, this gate stack is strong. Decline. Yeah, the, the mill deck is getting uploaded to YouTube right now. It takes like an hour to upload the videos. Um, so I get to get back to Bacabra. Chupacabra and Jade Light. Uh, yeah, Angrath would kill those flyers. Angrath would be a, a good draw. So I can deal six damage. I 
Uh, I certainly agree with not using cancer to describe decks. I don't think that that is necessary at all. So they have seven gates right now, so a gate to blaze would not kill gate colossus or their gate breaker rams, but would get rid of the hydroid crisis. Yeah, we need contempt for this, this deck, yeah. Niv Hey, so this is my this is my version. Cool. All right, let's see. If we, uh, is there anything good? Like, is there? What would I want a daredevil? Like, they have like circuitous route. Um, I think I want rhythm. I want I want haste creatures against like the sweepers and stuff. Um. Lava Coil is okay against early ram. Ritual Set kills big rams. Vivian's good against everything except for ram. I don't think I like I don't think it's very likely that Lava Coil is actually going to kill things. So it does kill Krasis too. That's a good point. So what would I want in my deck then? If I'm bringing in these sits also. I... I guess it does exile the 8 8s. Like, am I... am I just playing all removal? And then what am I doing with these other 9 cards? I guess I'm not playing rhythm. Um, I don't know. I did just cut something. I decided just to get rid of the coils and I guess duress. I don't know. I feel like I want to go under. Like I, I don't think I win like a late game too much against them. Um, with like, with a uh, guild summit and everything. Okay, so at least we're gonna be able to go Jade Light and then Angrath. I'm I'm not sold. I need these Ritual of Sets. Kind of wish I had Duress instead of Ritual of Set. Hmm. Is this better than a random card? I play Jade Light next turn. No. <laughs> yeah, we've we've had some bad opening hands uh, today. We have certainly been having some bad opening hands. I do like Phoenix. It's difficult for my opponent to deal with Phoenix. What kind of tokens, Chow?
I think I still play Rekindling Phoenix here over Angrath. Actually, maybe not. Well, so that three. Yeah, I guess I think I, I think I do. They're just they're just not gonna have exile stuff. See, so they gate to blaze. Uh, Phoenix will come back with haste. Like so, Phoenix next turn attacking plus Angrath at six damage. Where if I just play Angrath and then like tick up and then Angrath tick up again next turn, that's only four total damage. And hey, look. I got a six. So I yeah, I don't think they have anything in their deck that they can Oh well, okay, so the game Okay, well that that indicates a blaze. Yeah, alright, so they did have something in their deck. Keeps them alive for a turn. Vivian kill guild summit. Nah. Here be monsters. No fire, no steel. Yeah, we just made a token with Phoenix. There you go. <laughs> Played some tokens. All right, the the five the five O list. Yeah, I like Sargon Hellkite as a card. I don't. I don't play it too much. Um, but I like it as a card. All right. Well, our, our opponent's just kind of putting themselves dead. I don't know if they had a better, any, better and or any option. <laughs> a fair price. Yeah, I certainly think we need to go under our opponent. I don't. I don't want these ritual of sets. They're coming back out. I'm getting some duresses back in here. Try to take Gates of Blaze. Can I play the fourth duress over Find Finality? Other finds can come on out. For what? For Coil? I think I'd rather have Find. Do y'all think I should have one copy of Find or one copy of Lava Coil? Lava Coil could kill like an early Ram, or it could be like we attack with like something and also Coil to exile something bigger. Yeah, I have Soot instead of Cry of the Carnarium for the Mono White. Like I basically have Soot in the deck for the most part for Mono White um, matchup. Yeah, Find lets you recover from a Sweeper. Actually, yeah, let's just get the Midnight Reaper in. That's a good idea. We'll just get Midnight Reaper in. So, yeah, so I have I have a uh, Soot in for the Mono White matchup. Um, because the Mono White creatures get really big really fast. Whether they have a Benelish Marshal or um, Venerate Luxodon, um, something like that. I don't think the minus two, minus two is reliable enough. And so that's why I have Ritual of Soot. Really want to draw land land here. We're a little slow, which is good for our opponent. Lava coil. That's basically lava coil. Guild Summit's such a good card.
Yeah, J Light hitting hard. Um. Yeah, I gotta just bedevil again. I would like to Vivian and get rid of the Guild Summit. Um, but then we have to like double block the Ram, and that's messy. It's, it's just bedevil. <laughs> uh, it's a uh, hot tea. I don't drink coffee myself, but yeah, was, I'm drinking some hot tea right now. Yep, we're playing some Jun mid range. Gosh, Guild Summit just crushing us. Okay. Down to four. I wonder if I even do get rid of the guild summit by now. They played six of their 16 guild or gates, so there's 10 left in the deck. I wonder if I'm supposed to be ticking up. Yeah, because I can, I can hold Vivian for Krasis or Niv Mizzet. Like, Niv Mizzet could be a huge problem, or Krasis, um, or even like the 8-8. The eight eight. Like, we can kill the 8-8 eight eight with Vivian. Yeah, I actually like ticking up. We can no find another Chupacabra like or a Phoenix. I'm glad we've killed two Rams so far. Rams are the cards that Vivian cannot kill. I think your question was, does the deck run cards that can protect Vivian or niv it? And the answer is no, it does not. Five, six, seven, eight. Plus, doesn't doesn't have trample, so Re Phoenix can just chump that. The wilds are my shield. Pretty well. Can I take that duress? I don't know, is it even worth taking this Guardian or just get get another land drop? Oh, it's certainly worth jumping uh, if they attack Vivian. It's certainly going to be worth jumping. Um, let's go library there. I think so. Let's see. So Blood Sun says they lose all abilities. I think they enter untapped. You jump with three two over Phoenix. Why not just attack with the? Why not just block with the Phoenix? They could gates ablaze away the token, but the gates ablaze would kill their gate colossus also. One two three four five six seven eight. Yeah, they have eight. They have eight of those things. No one said restoration was painless. Hmm. They had a 6-6 six, six flying trampler. Me ultimating Vivian was not realistic at all. 
against a 6-6 Flying Trampler. I think the big question is whether or not I attack with the Phoenix. Um... I don't think I don't think we do. I don't think we're gonna have a very fast clock. They have a lot of w ways to gain life that they probably have in their hands. That's really bad. They get to pin. They get to ping Vivian twice, so v Vivian cannot kill Niv Mizzet now. Oh wow! I am very glad they're pinging Midnight Reaper. I'm glad my opponent's playing uh, my build of Gates, though. I like it. Krasis means mix in ancient Greece. Greek. Hmm. Yeah, I could certainly see an ablaze here. I guess. Well, probably. Not. I don't. I guess not in a blaze because that would just kill all their creatures. So cir circuitous route can deal one damage to Viv. Oh, so it's going to be like that, huh? Yeah, we haven't had we haven't had very good mana situations. <gasps> I've seen uh, squirrels the last, hit harder. Like five games, we've had a lot of scars are lessons written in skin. Uh, mana troubles. I'll be back, just like before. Either no lands or lots of lands, like all that kind of stuff. Another gate deck, sweet. Guild summit. These guild summits have just been incredible. <laughs> deck them. Yeah, they, I mean, they drew well. That's, that's what happens when you draw, you know, 15, 15 extra cards or whatever from those guild summits. Ugh. All right, 0-2 with John Midrange. Hmm. That happens sometimes. Uh, so, yeah, it didn't feel like the red was necessarily worth it um, for how I was, you know, kind of like Golgari here with, like, with a little bit of red. Um... I mean, Phoenix is a good card and everything, but our mana base was certainly worse, and um, don't think we really upgraded from just playing Golgari there. Um, but you know, that's the thing. There's this kind of deck to, is infinitely adaptable. It could certainly play a much much different style. Jun deck you go you go a whole lot more aggressive and everything. Uh, and we also just didn't draw very well. You know, we didn't have games like where we went Wild Growth Walker into Explore. You know, that didn't happen kind of thing. But. Oh, well. Uh, yeah, if you're watching this over on YouTube, hope you hit that subscribe button. Hope, hope this uh, at least gave you some ideas of cards to put in the Jun deck. Um, and, uh, yeah, I'll see you for the next video.